Amazing. I don't know. That's cold. I will be right back. Why is he there? I'm sorry. Look, ever since quarantine started, his company is working permanently from home. I didn't know he was going to be working late. Sorry. So does the sanctity of our work marriage just mean nothing to you? Of course it does. You know that. Back in the office, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., it was all about just you and me. Okay? Listen, come on. It's our work anniversary. Our way anniversary. And you're my work wife. Yeah, I'm your wife. Right. So... Why don't you just, you know, set the mood and change our backgrounds to the office and let's just forget Mark's even here, okay? There you go. Is that our wedding song? It is. The most oh. beautiful song for the most beautiful woman. Mwah. How can I forget about him when his drop dead sexy ass is bringing you coffee? That used to be my job. Remember our vow to bring each other Dunkin' Donuts coffee every morning? Don't you remember the taste? Of course I remember the taste. It, it tastes like someone farted pool water into a coffee cup. Listen. Mark and I, we, we have a life together, yes. But you and I, we have work. What's sexier than work? Oh, God damn it. Is that Lauren? Hey, Lauren. How's it going? Hey, how's your grandmother doing? How's she like that new home you put her in? She hates it, Mark. She said it's too dark in there and the patch of dirt outside her window reminds her of a grave. You know what? We've got a budget to go over. You mind getting the hell out? <laughs> of course. I'll let you ladies get back to business. Okay. Now that he's gone, do you have the Reese's Cup I sent you? Yes. You know, I'll never forget when we first met. It was when you had your arm stuck in the vending machine because you were trying to fish out your Reese's that had gotten stuck in there. Mm -hmm. And you laughed at me for way too long until you realized that I had put a hundred dollar bill in there. <laughs> yeah, I called you a dumbass for carrying bills so large. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then I seen a warrior princess kick the money slot and I broke my toe. That was exactly one year ago today that we had to take that ambulance ride to the ER. <sighs> I'll never pay for that trip. Oh yeah, I send those bills right back to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, do you have your Band-Aid ring? So what had happened was, um, Mark saw what appeared to him to be just an old dirty Band-Aid sitting on our nightstand and threw it away. But he did buy me this new J bracelet from South Korea to apologize and I could take it off and wrap it around my finger like a ring. Mm, look at me. My name is Mark. I'm hot and I've been on a plane. What, did he go there to teach improv to rich kids like in that movie Parasite or something? Uh, actually, that's exactly what he did. Wow. You know, I never realized how good of a guy Mark actually is. Well, God bless Saint Mark. Okay, Lauren, he's not perfect, all right? He, he can't clap on beat unless it's to the Friends theme song like every other white person. And he did suggest last year for a couple's costume for Halloween to go as g Easy and Megan the Stallion. He was the stallion. My little Italian stallion. Gross, Kiara. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just ever since quarantine started, I've been really getting to know my husband better. And... You know, I've had to go puff like 13 pregnancy tests and one pair of fuzzy handcuffs and they've just been, gosh, 
doing it, you know, just day and night and night and day and on birthdays and holidays and Congressman Day. Yeah, and, I, all right, I get it. I get it. I just can't shake the feeling that maybe I married a good guy. And I also can't stop shaking my legs. I'm all but doing it. Meanwhile, I've been having drunken arguments with my cat every day, and I've been trying to move a cheerio with my mind. I call it Matilda. And I am bad at it. Lauren, I miss you. I do. But I've really been feeling my husband. I'm so core inflicted. Well, then just say it, Kiara. Say that you love him. Say, I, Kiara, love the godlike, panty dropping Adonis Mark Summers. And that you don't need me anymore. Uh, excuse me. I will never say that. I do need you. Don't you remember our plans to go and get our passports renewed together? Don't you remember that? Do you really want to throw all of that away? Of course I don't. All my life I've wanted to get on a plane. But quarantine won't end, not, not for us. How dare you say that over our Zoom? Listen, Kiara, I cherish what we have at work. You know, I love how every morning we threaten to quit. I love our monthly fuck em up Fridays where we go to security and convince them to deactivate the key cards of our enemies. Oh, and there's nothing I look forward to more than our private Slack channel where we talk about all the white people we're going to report to Black Twitter. I already told five names. Oh my God, bitch, you are ruthless. <laughs> That's why I love you. But it is so clear that I can't compete with Mark. You know, the man is a literal angel. He already donated half his salary to Black Lives Matter and he posted it on his OnlyFans. He has a clean OnlyFans. See, he is a million times better than me. My own fans is so nasty. It's so, so much booty hole. It's my best feature. Listen, Kiara, I think it's best if we, if we just get a divorce and, and I left you alone. I don't want that, Lauren. What about what I want? Oh, hey, Lauren. <clears throat> I wanted to let you know that I stopped by your grandmother's place and I called in a favor and I had them bring her 19 hypoallergenic puppies to play with for the day. Hopefully that'll cheer her up. And then I planted some flowers outside of her window that spelled out, love you always, Lolo. Took like 10 minutes. Thank you so much for having such an amazing grandmother. She's truly an inspiration. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Mark. Homie, where you work? 